Well, hello. Um, okay, so this is the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 13th of August 2022. And I start off by lying to you because it's actually Friday the 12th. And it's half four. And it's sweltering. Looking at the temperature, it's currently 27 indoors. I think it's early 30s outdoors. Oh, I'm sweating. So if you see me, if you want a scorcher, uh, I hope you will understand. If you haven't seen this before, this is me rabbiting on about things from the last week. Things that I did, things that I drank, things that I complained about, and lots of other things. Okay, um, why am I doing it on Friday and not on Saturday? Um, there is an answer to that. Um, one, it's stinking hot and I'm in the mood for it at the moment. And tomorrow, service and MOT. So I need to be up early, get everything ready and down to Cardiff. Uh, where lots of roads are closed because the city are at home and there are two other big things and it's a major service and it's an MOT and I have a feeling that some front bushes need to be replaced because it was mentioned the last service and it could be skipped. And it's going to be 33 degrees Celsius. I'll come back to the weather later because there's been an update. Who'd have thought it? <coughs> Age. Anyway. Um, in line with the weather, the word or phrase of the week. He looks over here. Submarine shower. Yeah. Okay, so you have to save water. Um, and you're not supposed to have more than four minutes of water on. But you do what they do on nuclear submarines. You shower yourself. You get all wet. And then you turn the shower off. And then you put shampoo on your hair and you wash everything else and you rub it in and all that sort of stuff. And then you have a quick go at washing it all off and you're done. So you possibly might save about two minutes of water there. Or you could go to work on a nuclear submarine. Yeah, came up Nangaro Hill on the way home. Um, the water's been leaking from the road for the last week. Hats off to Welsh Water, not for profit, uh, unless you run the organisation, of course. Um, but, you know, we got problems. Apparently, the last uh, reservoir in the UK that was built was 30 years ago. Population's gone up a lot since then. Uh, talk about planning ahead. And, of course, leaks. Oh, yeah, we'd have to pay for them. Yeah, um, not that we don't pay at the moment. Not that they're not large dividends. Although, got to be careful here, some of the dividends go to pension funds. Everything is intertwined. The app of the week. The app of the week, uh, and I keep on saying this, but Discord. There was a Pew Research survey into teenagers and social media. Discord. Useful for gamers so that they can chat and pass messages at the same time. Now the darling of practically everyone else, including tech podcasts, where I go for a lot of tech support. I like it. Although under Windows, it has a tendency to launch every time when you start up. You can turn it off on every place that you know of and it'll still launch. I still like it. I think it's Electron. I have a feeling it is, to be perfectly honest. But this course. Hmm. Okay. Thing of the week. Let's go back to the first one. Submarine shower. Heat wave. Um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, half of Wales, including the bit that I'm now in. Amber heat warning. And yesterday, the Romney Valley line had a defective rail. Probably caused by the heat at nine o'clock in the morning. Um, it hasn't been too bad in work during the week, but today it goldy humid, really humid and sticky. Okay, there were fans on and such like. Uh, there weren't many in, um, which is just as well because sweltering. Although lunch in the tumble superior aircon you go in and it's just like oh that's lovely you come out and like the beginning of platoon 
a furnace hits you. Okay, not as hot as Vietnam, obviously, but here in the valleys, we're only used to mild drizzle, because, you know, weather. <laughs> anyway, let's look back at the week. Um, Saturday, oh, I know, I'll go to Caerphilly, and then I'll go to Brew Monster in the afternoon, because it's not too far away. Oh, let's check Twitter, because they're cancelling buses. Oh, nothing cancelled from the Caerphilly depot, lots from other depots. I know, I'll tweet them and ask. You cancelling anything from the Caerphilly depot? Nothing comes back. Have a look at the app. Your bus is running. Your bus doesn't show. The next one doesn't show either. Move over onto the Newport one where it says it's three minutes late. That actually r runs. Send them a tweet. We can't always tweet at short notice. Why not? You're up about five o'clock in the morning ringing around the depots, no doubt. Um, as I said before, public transport, not for the public. Um, and if you want us, First Minister, to use public transport, one, it's too expensive, two, it's too unreliable, and three, it's too Cardiff-centric. It doesn't cross valleys. And the metros, on a day like today, and you need to use the toilet, you can't if you're on the Ponty line. You have to get out and use the services on the station. Will the train wait for you? Train tram, actually. I doubt it. Public transport? Not for the public. I'll come back and I'll say that again in the future because that's the way it is. Okay, also Saturday. A lovely day, by the way. Premiership came back. The Dream Teams came back. It was all good. Um, and I ended up last. And then on Sunday, I was last again. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Just like I said this time last year. Um, football, you know, very, very, very much. Um, I mowed the lawn. Um, there wasn't a lot to mow, to be perfectly honest. Um, practically because of the lack of rain. And it needs feeding, although I fed it about a fortnight ago. Um, but it's looking... Oh, yeah, um, weather. Um, Monday and Tuesday... Um, lightning, thunder, threatened, could be up to 50 millimetres of rain, that's two inches, flash floods, that's the trouble with them, droughts, flash floods, yeah, it's summer, you know, we have these things, phew, what a scorcher, anyway, um, and they still, 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 last, <laughs> made some transfers. I don't think it'll have much effect. Tuesday, the amber heat warning was announced. Um, there's a space around Exeter and Torbay that don't get it. And west of Swansea, maybe? The valleys, sweat box, as you would expect. You know. Um, Wednesday. Um, well, I forgot about Patch Tuesday on the Tuesday, so early Wednesday morning. Patch my windows boxes and there was a patch for my Pixel 6a, 1.25 mega, megabytes in size. It's tiny. Whew, I'm sweating like conkers here. Yeah? Um, but anyway, I'm more secure than I was before, which is good. Um, Wednesday in work, I did my first email mail merge. Um, you don't actually merge directly to an email template, which is a shame, because if you had an email template, you could have private, you could have high priority, you could have lots of other things, um, uh, and attachments, I believe, although you can have pictures doing it this way. What happens, it actually merges directly into a Word document, which then merges into the email Okay, it wasn't very difficult, but there were 302 entries, so my merge was just the names, first name, and the email addresses. And I was hoping for an exception report, which didn't happen. Um, and there was a way of validating the email addresses, and I clicked on it, it said, do you want to go to the Microsoft website and purchase this add-on? No. So I manually went through them, and I found a couple that weren't email addresses and corrected those. Long story short, click on go, 
tell it what the email title is supposed to be, say which ones you want, i.e. all format HTML or plain text, plain text because it's safer, and then go. And the word document just names just flew by in the first name field. And I didn't think it was working until I saw an out of office come back. And then I saw undeliverable. TLDR, too long, didn't read. There were four undeliverable. Um, so I had a template email anyway, went back into the global address book, found the email address, which looked very similar, stuck it in, sent them off. Not too bad. Out of 302, 298 just went off. I like doing mail mergers like that. They're just interesting to watch. Anyway, first time for anything. Um, Thursday, Amber started, although it was hot enough anyway. Uh, um, also, I have so many accessories. Um, I've got a Logitech HD 1080p camera here, it's the 920. Uh, I've got the Litra Glow. I've got USB-A to USB-Cs. So I'm getting a series of bags to stick all the junk in. Because uh, I don't think Tesco's bags are the way forward because eventually they just break. Um, so I'm tidying things up. Oh, we were announced this week there could be power cuts in January. Yeah, and it's looking like I won't be able to afford any sorts of bills, to be honest. So, um, more fleeces. Absolutely more fleeces. Uh, yesterday, also Thursday, a tax the car letter. So, get the MOT tomorrow, hopefully. Wait three or four days for it to go through. Tax the car. Luckily, only 30 quid a year. Oh, I have a feeling it's going to go up. Something about you can't have it that cheap. Um, so we're going to tax you more. It's a tax. Yeah. And um, as I've already mentioned, the joy of the aircon in the tumble and a bottle of ghost ship, which is cold and low alcohol, because I wanted to finish early, but that didn't work very well. Although relatively early, let's be honest. And responds well to being cold. And a boneless chicken basket with lots of barbecue sauce. Coming up, as well as my service and MOT, tonight, the last episode for Series 3 of For All Mankind. No spoilers, but Episode 9 last week was a... Uh, it's like a Doctor Who ending. It was a cliffhanger, and I'm looking for it tonight because I think it's longer. I think it's 1 hour 20. Yeah, I need that. I really do. So that was my sweaty, sweaty week. Next week, still warm, going to be wet, going to be thunder and lightning. Oh, yeah, shut down my umbrella, shut down my uh, Synology, just in case this power cuts. You know, protect your servers and all sorts. Um, you'll get this tomorrow. I'm not sure what time. Bye-bye.